Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. As you can see here today, we have Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game in front of us. Today, as the title suggests, if you read it, if you didn't, it's still what it is, you just didn't know this. We are taking a look at the Mordor Orcs. Now these are one of the basic plastic orc sets. Now this is one box of them. You can get them in this box for between 30 to 24 pounds, depending on where you buy them from, I think. Um, I think I, I got mine from Wayland anyway, and they were £24. I think from Games Workshop, they're about 30 But yeah, you can also get these orcs in the Mordor Battle Host set. And with that, you also get some wargs and you get the Witch King. So it's a very good set. But this is just the basic one. These are ones I need to pad out my army. They're also going to be the ones that I use for battle companies, which, as you may know, we are starting to cover on the channel. So... We've got this unboxing, we've got an unboxing of the Haradrim Warriors, and then after that we have a look at the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game Battle Company's Community Edition book, which is the one we're going to use for our campaign that we're about to run. So yeah, so we've got a lot of Middle Earth stuff coming up, but anyway, let's get these sprues out and have a look at them. Anybody who's played Lord of the Rings before, or The Hobbit, or Middle Earth, whichever version of the game, you'll know that these start these little basic box sets come with the same sprue. Trice, trice, twice, twice. We don't cut anything out on this channel, so yeah, that'll stay in. Um, so there's your bases, and here's your sprues. So as you can see, it's the same sprue, trice. We don't need to look at it twice, or trice, or any of the other words. Some bases as well. I'm going to do custom bases. Um, anybody who follows me on Instagram may have already seen them. If not, you'll get to see them in the future anyway. But let's take a look at these. So we'll zoom on in just a little bit. So as you can see here on the sprue, you get a lot of multi-part... Uh, sorry, you get a lot of single-piece models and a couple of multi-parts. Now, with this, you get 12 models... On each sprue, being 24 in total. So 24 in a box. And they look, when painted, something a little like this. So yeah. So across each sprue, you get one, two, three, four. You get four swordsmen. You get two archers, which is one and two. You get... One, two, two hand weapons, and then you get four with spears. So that is maths, right? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. So across the board, you get eight spears, eight swords, four two handed weapons, and four bows. Now, these are an old kit, um, without question. I don't know if the sprues actually say on how old they are, but 2003. So, by the time I actually eventually upload this, you guys know what my schedule's like. It's probably going to be like 2028. And at that point, the sprues have been out for an obscenely long time. But even now, in 2024, I think it's 2024. Um, yeah, that's a long time. That's 21 years old. Now, these are still gorgeous, gorgeous models. So, if we have a look here, you'll have to apologise. I'm filming on our games table with nothing on because I've got Parker, my youngest, playing whatever goddamn horrible game he's playing on the Xbox. And I've got guinea pigs who've got new balls. That sounds wrong. They have new toy balls that rattle. So, I've kind of had to go as far away from them as possible. But, yeah. So, you can see there the detail is still pretty nice now. You get a couple of models that are multi-part. I think it's four of them. No, five of them. Uh, so, ten of the twenty-four. But, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to throw these onto bases. And then I'll pop up and show you what they look like before I spray them or anything like that. Um, just purely because seeing them on the sprue, you can't go right get a great feel for it i really can't with the english today this is the kind of quality you guys have come to expect from me as you know but yeah guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go away i'm gonna clean these up and don't get me wrong these models will need a lot of cleaning up because well they're old <laughs> it's just that they're old they're like not as old as me but they're they're up there they're they're quite old and 
the mold lines will be horrific if any of my other stuff's to go on. So I'm probably going to need to do a lot of mold line removing. Now, you can use a mold line remover for that. You can use the back of a craft knife. You can use a file, whatever it takes your fancy. I'm going to just use one of the old Games Workshop craft knives that's now blunt down to the point that it's perfect for removing mold lines. I said I've made some bases. These bases are foam on the base and then some sand around it. And I have covered the foam in my own special mix of wall filler and PVA, which I use for any time I want to like make a text a concretey texture or like a stone texture. So yeah, guys, once I built these, I'll show you what they look like. You might be impressed. You might go, eh, it's one or the other. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'll be back in a bit. So guys, through the magic of editing, you can see here that there is 24 built Mordor Orcs. Now, as I said before, the bases are made of foam board um, filler and sand. And they look a little something like this. Um, now, they look a bit scratchy and a bit oiky. But once they're sprayed black, they'll look pretty good. So I thought I would show you these first and then I would spray them black and show you what they look like. So that's a hand weapon guy. Obviously, here you've got a two hand weapon guy. Um, there's a few little mold lines that I'm actually spotting on the camera that I thought I'd got, so I will have to go over them again with a craft knife. Um, this is a spear mini. Uh, you've got your archers here. Um, a different sword and shield guy here. As I said, I will have to take another craft knife to these. Uh, I thought I'd cleaned the mold lines off them a lot better than I have. So that's that's my bad, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so if you give me a couple of minutes, I'll get these sprayed. And then we'll come back and we'll have a look at how they look all tied together. But these are the models themselves. Really quick to put together. As I said, most of them were one part. A couple of them you had to attach a weapon or so. But yeah, that's it. Back in a bit. So here you can see the models themselves are sprayed. They're almost dry, but I just thought I would get in and get some filming done. You can see they all tie together nicely. The bases look okay. Um, obviously better than the white slush you could see before. I've gone a bit handheld, so if it's a bit shaky, I do apologize. But yeah, go 24 orcs. The whole thing all told, including the extra cleanup when I realized I'd missed a couple of models or I hadn't cleaned them up to the best of my abilities. It's probably two hours in total. Building the bases is the cumbersome thing because you have to build them, wait for them to dry. Then you have to coat them in two coats of the filler, which obviously each individual coat needs to dry. Then you need to glue the models on the bases. So more of it was waiting for stuff to dry than it was to actually build. But yeah, I really, really like them. I'm going to get some of these painted. I will be doing a couple of how to paint Mordor Orcs on the channels just to show. Because I've got some painted and anybody who follows me on Instagram has already seen them go up. Um, but obviously I've still got a lot to paint because I bought maybe, just maybe far too many Mordor Orcs. Um, as if that's ever actually a thing. But yeah. Um... I will be doing some painting tutorials just as a way to, if nothing else, get my actual orcs painted. I have my battle companies painted and I will be showing that off in a different video when we show off all the different battle companies before we start the game. But yeah, as I said in the, uh, at the start of this video, the next video is going to be a Haradrim unboxing with the Haradrim Warriors. And then we're going to be looking at the battle companies, comp um, sorry, community edition um, rule book. As I said, I'll post a link to the um, rule book itself in the description of this video, the Haradrim video, and the next video. So anybody who watches this one and the Haradrim one can have a read through it before we take a look. Now, the first video is actually just going to be how to build your battle company, and the next one's going to be a look at the rules. So a couple of videos to go yet. But yeah, guys. As always, like, share, subscribe. If you're a Battle Companies guy, let us know. If you're a Lord of the Rings or Middle Earth player, let me know. What is it you collect? What is it you play? Did you buy the magazine from years ago like a lot of us started with? Um, 
if you haven't played it in years, but you have nostalgic memories, is it something you might consider getting back into in the future? Anyway, the usual social media stuff, it's all listed in the description below. As always, pray the dice gods. Hope they smile upon you and have a good day, guys. Bye now.